<coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm working without the use of a microphone. <laughs> Can you hear me in the back? Yes! No, no! Too bad. Now, first of all, you'll notice that I've been selected to deliver this speech outdoors. <laughs> in rather inclement conditions. While the good lady who invited me to come here and speak made sure that she was speaking indoors. <laughs> <laughs> On the pretext of flinging open this plaque. Now, you may not know who I am. You may have forgotten about me. <laughs> and you may be wondering what I'm doing here. Particularly among three Lord Mayors, Chairman of the Buckinghamshire County Council, the Chairman of the Wickham District Council, the High Sheriff of Buckinghamshire 2011 to 2012, the High Sheriff of Buckinghamshire 2012 to 2013, three judges. And me, a mere disc jockey. And a Deputy Lieutenant. Now, I used to do a radio program. It wasn't all that popular. I used to get the kind of letters that says, I should make it clear at the outset, I do not listen to your program from choice. It's just that I give my 18-year-old son and his girlfriend a lift to college every morning on the way to work. They refuse to listen to Radio 4. I refuse to listen to Radio 1. Consequently, we listen to Radio 2, thereby ensuring that no one is happy. <laughs> it is even worse. I'm meeting my girlfriend's parents for the first time this weekend. They want to know all about my family. My mother's serving a prison sentence for drug laundering. <laughs> My father is a convicted football hooligan. My mother is a gigolo in Oldham. <laughs> My sister has been arrested for sending threatening mail to all four of her previous lovers. My grandmother is awaiting trial for war crimes, and I never knew my grandfather. <laughs> my problem is, how do I explain to them that I used to listen to you in the morning? <laughs> and then the cruelest blow of all is, you know, when people are really popular, Scylla, Elvis, Charles, Camilla, John, Paul, George, Ringo, they're always known by their first name. And then unpopular people, or people with no redeeming feature, are referred to by their surname, Mussolini, Hitler, Crippen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I can do without your sympathy now. I'm all right. I've had lunch. So I was ready for, for the best that Anne could throw at me. And how good to see her. And uh, I'm delighted that she asked me to be here. It's a great honor and a privilege to be here. I, everybody knows uh, the reputation, the work, the incredible person that Sue Ryder was. And everybody knows what a wonderful place this is. And, and I've read so much about what's going on in this garden, how much good it's going to do. Not in, I expect, of course, uh, a free truckle of vegetables and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, every month, really. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure we're not going to get it. And I'm certainly not going to get it. But you wait. In, 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 <laughs> There's a chance. Do you yeah, maybe. That's, that's, that's the same kind of promise that you said, come and speak, <laughs> without telling me I was out in the bloody rain. <laughs> well, it's all right. I, I was born in Limerick in the rain. And indeed, I, that talk of, of uh, the lack of Protestant virgins, we could have done with a few of those. <laughs> They were missing when I was a lad as well. <laughs> I hope you're going to go in and have a look, because that looks absolutely fantastic. And I, I'm a very... No need for that. I'm a very, very keen gardener. Well, I tell a lie. The present Lady Morgan is a very keen gardener. I'm a very keen person for sitting outside and looking at gardens. And this is a tribute to gardeners everywhere. And it's a great honor, as I've said, for me to be here. It's really very nice of you to ask me. I've had a lovely lunch, I've met some lovely people, and I'm sure the day is going to end beautifully. But my part in it, and I hope you can all see this, 
I know that you're sure this will will this work? Evidently. Or am I going to look like a numpty again, Anne? <laughs> I think it will work. Okay. Pull the wall down. Just yeah. pull. <laughs> That's distinct from over your eyes. Here we go. One, two, three. In honour of a great lady and a wonderful project. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.